Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 18 of the rise of Icelandic football with HK. Now, I'm on the finances screen, just so no fixtures are up, nothing, can't see anything, nothing, can, not starting the episode on the finances screen. I'm going to start with this. If you've not watched episode 16, it's been the best episode to date. Go back, watch it, before you come here. Now, this is not no plug, this is nothing, this is, look, you have to watch 16 to come to 17, because what I'm about to say next it leads straight from the last thing. Halfway through the coffee, and I still can't believe what I witnessed. I still cannot believe Philippe put in a ball of that quality to Isberg in the 91st minute to get through that tie. Now, for everybody that watched that episode, and you hopefully you've come back and you've watched that one, what has happened for us to get here to Basel? It's sensational. We're being raided, by the way. Everybody's in for everyone. Doesn't bother me. We're rejecting offers, that's fine. You can wait till the 25th before I do that. We're gonna go to the team. We got Basel. The boys are gonna play again. I rested them all for the cup final. You think they missed the cup final? Look, we're that good in Iceland now. That look, when we're playing our B side, and we're pumping sides 5-0, and they're not even getting sniffs, it's great. Look, Pontrico aren't a great side, but they've given us trouble in the past when we play our B side. Anyhow, if we go to the Basel side, right? Their key player is this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hozu. Don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah. Just, we're just going to look through. I'm still a mess from the last episode. This is maybe 10 minutes after. I am still a mess. Long go. Um, Mar Maron is not too bad at centre back. He's quite good. Neto's good. Per Joel Pereira is a very good keeper. Salomon. Schmid. Trejo is actually really good at. at Attacking playmaker. Um, is in he's in used to playing like League One, I reckon. Yeah, it's Toulouse. I reckon I had him on football. Um, football man on FIFA. I wasn't thinking a long time ago. You can see the quality, right? We are up against it. Who was that? One the kid of previous football managers from River. Yes, of course, Balanta. I reckon I've signed him on a few saves. Um, I signed. Him. You can see the quality in the side, right? Compared to us, right? It's not there, but we have been up against better sides than us so many times and come out on top. So nothing will surprise me. We just beat Ligier in the 90th minute of the second leg. We're an emotional wreck. I'm expecting this episode to be hyped. Can we get to the Champions League group stage for a second time? Now, if we do, no one's gone. Nobody's gone. If we don't, I may look to cash in on a couple of the foreign lads and then look to get some Europeans in. And that's something that we'll probably do on stream after this episode's done. Um, I'm currently uploading episode 16 right now as I'm filming this. Um, so if we get some sort of lag spike during recording, it's probably because it's just processing the video. Um, the lag spike only lasts for like a second or two. It should be okay. But in terms of streaming, I'm going to upload 16, I'm going to upload 17, and then I'll be on stream for Twitch for most of the rest of the day. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I am a, I'm a wreck. I am a wreck from episode 16, but let's go. Let's do it. We're hoping for a game easy on the ticker. They're actually playing five at the back. We match up well against that. We have. But, look, it could be a different five at the back. There's a few attacking five at the backs, and they could do it. I'm going to tell them that, look, I have faith in them. Go out there, do the business. They all look sensationally happy with it. And there we go. Get to the tunnel. Both teams come in good form. I enjoy these matches. The Champions League anthem's playing. We're here at Basel. In Basel. And there we go. Can we do it? Can HK get to the Champions League group time for the second time running? To be honest, if we went down into the group into the group of the Europa League, I actually back us maybe to get out of the group and get to knockout football in Europe, which wouldn't be too bad. Oh, and there's something I forgot to show you. Oh my, I nearly forgot. Where's FH? FH, Nick Barlow is doing sensational stuff here at FH. Uh, actually, we'll just go like this. We'll go home, doesn't want to come up. FH, right? We only played 14 games, and this is why, all right? We go to schedule and senior squad they are still in the europa league qualifying they're into the fourth qualifying round they got they got beat by young boys one nil at home and i didn't bother to check i only checked it just because i wanted to see how nick barlow's doing they won two way away at young boys on away goals and barlow had a storm up so there we go back to the match all right back to it seven minutes in it looks like we're keeping the ball well back to it we just thought we had to touch on fh because it's also important to see how the Icelandic clubs do because it improves the league as well and if they can get to the group stage that would be sensational for them as well as well as Icelandic football there we are it's also good for us in the league because it means they won't catch us they, they shouldn't catch us anyway 13 minutes in and this game has been less exciting than what the second leg of the uh, 
of the LGA game was. And so maybe the heart can relax even though I'm drinking coffee and probably making it a bit faster. It doesn't matter. I'm happy to take Nunu right now. Nunu is great. Look, I would obviously love an away goal, but Nunu just means win at home and you win the tie. I'm happy with that. I can live with that. 44 minutes in, and it looks like there's not going to be a highlight this half. Whoa, this is... Compared to previous episodes, this is quite tame. And I probably needed it after the... Uh, after the episode just gone. We'll get to the pet port talk. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy because we haven't created anything. But really, in all truth, I do not mind too much that not much has happened. Kane in inside now to Oriella and would probably be a pointless highlight. Ragnoli now, and there it goes. Okay. You do, we are creating. We're just not creating nothing clear cut. And that for a highlight, finally. Look at that. The whole half. Apart from the bookings, right? There wasn't much to talk about. As it looks like it'll be Basil becoming four. It was a good challenge there from um, Lucas Lovbat. The players just seem to stop. Might be asking referee for a card or something. I don't know. Weird. Anyhow, it's Wagner. Wagner's ball at the top. Isberg has pace and speed. And can he whip in a ball of quality? Lays it back past Kane in, and it's 1 0 HK. An away goal for the lads. Basil playing this five at the back system. We do match up well against it. Gives us a plenty of room through the midfield to play the ball around. That's what we've done. It's a great switch of play from Oriella to Wagner. And it's a good first time ball. And Isberg with the 18 pace and the great crossing gets to the byline, whips that one back pose. And Kane in finishes that one. And when one new up here against Basel, and then maybe they have to change the system and look to go. They seem uninterested. Maybe they definitely have underrated us and just like, oh, okay. But they've just made a couple of changes. Smith's on one of their better players. And see what we can do. 66 minutes in. I'm happy with how things are going. Leopold is not creating too much, but I don't really care. I'm actually going to change that though right now. Um, I'm going to bring around just an injection of pace um, in terms of on the break. Um, if we do get a break, and Moreno has been in decent goal scoring form off the bench and scoring well in the league and in the cup, so give him some game time. Um, 80 minutes in, still not much happening. I don't really care too much. We're going to give Repes a chance in the um, in the Champions League. He's our best centre back, our best centre back, our best centre mid, according to my um, coaches and that. But I do like the partnership of Ariela and Neves. Lucas Lovat whips that ball in. Um, I'm pretty sure this won't be a goal. That's a goal. <laughs> okay, let, let's break it down. Usually when the keepers go down, they don't count because it's been a foul or something. We're going to break this down. We've gone from crazy 90th minute winners to centre back is whipping balls of quality in and Isberg doing Isberg thing to this in a Champions League for What is going on? Repas. Lucas Lotvat. Cross. When this happened, I thought it was a foul for Moreno. To be honest, Moreno's gone in there and it's the keeper's fallen over Neto. It's flicked off this person in Salomon, and Dodd has then just volleyed it into the back of the net. That's a really weird goal from FM. Usually that's a fair oh, Moreno's tripped the keeper or something. We're, I'm, not, I'm taking it. Well done, Moreno. That's fine. We're 2 0 up away from home, but it looks like they're going to have a chance here. Basil do need a goal. It's a long range hit, and it's headed away, but only as far as Neto now. Back to Campo. Campo. Can he find a pass? In the end, it's cut out by Repas. He's done well. And Kane in now on the break. And it's a long ball over the top. Moreno has speed, but it's probably a bit too long. And it falls to Pereira. Pereira now will look to bring the ball out from the back. Time wasting a bit from the keeper. Okay, I'm happy. I'm two new up. I don't care. There we are. Balanta, the former wonder kid of football manager. And Moreno's pinched in. Can we make it 3 new? Oh, it's a chance. It's a double save on Pereira. Well done, the keeper. Pereira putting up absolute miracles at the back there. Moreno really should have scored one of the two chances. Put both pretty much straight at the keeper. And now it's a ball over the top, and Campo now is in. Yon's in good form and doesn't need to be in good form with a shot like that, though. And it's still 2 0. We're now going to make a final change. Everyone there at the back is on a booking, so we're just going to bring Nishkin off there and just confirm the sub. Just to make sure A, he doesn't get sent off, and B, just to time waste a little bit and get there. The free kick's going to come top of the box, and if we don't concede now, Campo puts it wide. It's been a very professional performance. Um, been a very professional performance for the lads. And Pep Talk, I'm very pleased with that and the result, and the boys seem quite happy. That. In terms of games, that was the most calm, and that was the most weirdest own goal ever scored on Football Manager. I wish I commentated a bit more. As soon as the keeper went down, I was just like, really? That's not a goal, is it? It just seemed all too easy. Compare that to the Ligier game. How easy was that? I'm going to stop the recording as I'm getting text messages everywhere. I'm going to put my phone on mute now. Um, and we'll be back for the second leg of the Basel game. We're in a great position to make the Champions League group stage. And I was... Con Prepared for another hyped episode after 16. It looks like 17 could be straightforward. 3, 2, 1, let's go.
Hello YouTube, welcome back to episode 18. It's part two, second leg time against Basil at home. We're two new up on aggregate. We should go through. We may go through. I'm not 100 percent sure though. You never know in football. Anything nothing's nothing's guaranteed. As Ligia found out in the last episode. If you haven't watched that back, what are you waiting for? Um I will say as well, I mean I ended the first part, I said 16 and 17, episode 16 and 17. It's actually 17 and this is 18. So if you're confused, sorry about that. It should be okay. I'm pretty sure at the start I said this is episode 18. Emotions are a mess after episode 17, so if you can bear with me, it would be okay. Um, we're just going to make the last change here, Leo Poli coming out and Magnuson going up, uh, Magnuson going up. Leo Poli coming in, Magnuson coming out. Um, submit the team, everything's a sign. Um, unfortunately, Philippe is suspended, so we're going to have to play Nikolai. I'm just hoping for Nikolai to come in and do a job. He's got very good mentals, uh, he's good at playing the ball playing, def ball playing defender role. Um, I expect Basil to come out and play. They're actually playing the five at the back system again, wow. This is them to come out like 4 for 2 4 for 3 They have to go out there. Just going to tell them to show the media why they're ready to back them up. I'm just going to tell them there's much more to come from them. Um, the boys seem quite motivated and happy. Going to say, obviously, we'd rather have him for the side, but I have complete faith in the boys that are out there. Champions League song. Picture it in your head, ladies and gentlemen. We're 2-0 up on the aggregate. Um, we're 90 minutes away from the group stage of the Champions League. Um, we're also 90 minutes away from being in the Europa League group stage if we do go out. Now, um, what, if we are out or we do go through, the, the draw will be done at the end of this episode. So once the game's over, do not switch off. we will be the group stage draw. It's in a couple of days after this. We'll just sim there and get there. We might actually watch some transfer drama unfold live. Who knows? It looks like it might be a highlight here for Basil. Early doors here. Yossi inside the Longo. Longo's back full cross. Flicked away from Isberger. Maybe it's a chance for Nevers to run into the space. He finds Leo Poli. He's got numbers with him. Leo Poli over the top of the Ragnoli. Ragnoli's not been in the best of form, but can he score? No, he can't. Looks like a man out of form and under a lot of pressure, but transfers, it transfers um, pressuring him. Um, it does want the move, but we're not going to give it to him. That is for sure with the Champions League coming up, ho hopefully. Dominating possession, dominating the game. Just keep it simple. Don't get sent off. 10, 11 men on the field. Keep the ball. I'm happy with this. I'm happy for this game. Just peter out. Um, Joel Pereira, the keeper, gets injured. That's really, really, really um, weird for um, Basil, and that's really unfortunate. As the backup keeper comes on, Isberg, ball in, head down, Ragnoli! He's needed that one, that is for sure. He's been out of form. It hasn't been a high of, uh, it hasn't been many highlights in this half, but the, the cross came in from Isberg from the free kick. Finds Stefan, great knockdown, and Ragnoli with great technique on the volley to side foot it in back corner, and 1 0, 3 0, and Agra. I'm not going to say that's game over. But boy, oh boy, it could be the icing on the cake and the nail on the coffin. Is Pazel have not come out and played football at all? We're dominating the game, possession, we're dominating shots. They haven't even had a shot and a half. The game, Basil have to win. They've been disappointed. They've been disappointed the whole time. But look, don't get complacent. Things can turn around in football. They seem to love that. We're 45 minutes away from the Champions League group stage. We're nearly there, boys. Come on, boys. Can we get there? Ball inside. It doesn't matter. The highlights ended and the reserve keeper plays it out there to Diego Angelo. And his long ball up the top. And I'll tell you what, his man's goal side, but Nikolai has done well to get there. No mistake, Nikolai just find the pass. It's not a great pass. And the 2v2 and the ball down the line's on. Longu there, he's inside. Finds Campo, finds Hodzic to chance. There you go, Hodzic gives him a lifeline. And tell you what, they do score three. If they score two more goals here, Basil, they go through and away goals. So, there we are. It wasn't the best clearance from Nikolai. I prefer that to go out there. If you've got to clear it, clear it out there. The pass was on down the, in the middle as well. Just needed a good ball. Nikolai's quite good with his feet, but it's a defensive mistake. Tell you what, we're dominating possession. I'm not going to change the system. We're not going to go on the park and the bus yet. We're just going to keep playing the same way and book the press for another goal. Um, the ball inside, Trejo now. I tell you what, Basil are building. Campo, it's a good ball through. Tell you what, Longu's there. Tell you what, Basil have come out to play this half and it's 2-1 Basil and we're 3-2 up on aggregate. We need the boys to get out there. They've had two shots and scored both. I'm going to tell them look, to calm down. It's okay. They've scored from two shots. Go out there and perform. Play your football and we'll be okay. One goal changes this tie dramatically. There we are. One goal changes this tie. One goal for us changes it. One goal means that Basil are going through. Dotto now has scored that weird own goal. Randa comes in. Surely Arneson's there and does claim. Randa on a booking, diving in big time. 65 minutes in. And Basil are applying the pressure from a game that looked quite over at half time. They haven't even had a shot. They've had two shots and scored both times. Football's a funny old game. Neves now. Can we get on the ball? Neves. His ball out towards Isberg does find him. Isberg, can he just keep it? And tell you what, that's a foul. That's a booking. Send him off, ref. Dono is in trouble. He's had a shocking first leg with the own goal. And now he's going to be sent off on Basil are on top. Surely that means that we can press on here and get through as the game's getting tight. Dodo's off. Get him off. That's fine. Bye bye, Dodo. There we go. Dodo. 
Lucas Lovback inside to Neves. Neves now. I'm thinking about changes. Neves. Leo Pauli. Isberg. Isberg hits it. It's a great finish by Isberg. 2-2 two -two on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. We needed to pull something out in the second half. When Isberg delivers the man of the moment, we're going to get um, Jan Repis on. And we're going to take off um, Neves, who's looking a bit tired. Just going to put him on advanced playmaker on support. Don't need him bombing on. Um, only Wangler's on a booking, so that's okay in terms of that. Um, in terms of the rest of it, we might just leave the boys as they are. Confirm that. Looks like a highlight from a kickoff. Don't be a bloody Basil goal. I would not be able to handle that. After the drama of last episode, I don't need drama in this episode. My heart would not take it. Ivo Pinto, what a run. Well done, Oriel. That's a good foul. Don't let him get that cross in. Oriel is probably going to get booked. I don't care. We will take him off. That is fine. We don't want a red card and then giving Basil enough to come back in. Look, it could be a ball of quality and we could be in trouble. I'm thinking that that highlight's come about because of the cancel replay. But I'll tell you what, the ball in. But it's fallen to Lucas Lockback. Low on the break. Isberg's got pace. He's got numbers with him. Lockback's bombing on. He wants the switch. Instead, Isberg's running with his 18 pace. Still Isberg. Still Isberg. Ball inside. Repes. Repes can't hit it. And it's clear by Treasure. Only fast Lucas Lockback. Came in. Came in. Scores. That should be HK through. 3 2 up now. 5 2 on aggregate. I tell you what, when I got the 2 1, I was worried. I was very worried. Now it should be game over. In that case, then, Rodrigo Moreno, you're going to come on to get some game time. Um, Victor is going to come on for Riello. He got away without a booking. And that's going to be all three changes, man. Keep the same system. Let's just get there, boys. We are going through the Champions League group stage. I don't see Basel scoring three with ten men in the last ten minutes. And we should be through. Isberg now. Can he put in a corner? He can. Flicked on. Stefan. Cleared off the goal line. It would have been nice to put the icing on the cape of a fourth. And there we go. Time's ticking away. We are going to be through the Champions League. Fairly straightforward apart from the two. Oh, my God. He's been nearly hit up. Absolutely amazing free kick. Wasn't expecting too much. We are nearly through now to the Champions League. Look, when it went 2-1 down, it wasn't straightforward. But apart from that, it's been fairly straightforward. They haven't created anything apart from the two goals in a typical football manager style. They scored both. The long throw comes in, but the referee won't even let it get into the box. It's full time. HK3, Basel 2, 5 to an aggregate. We are through. That means no one's really going to leave. Maybe Ariella, but that's it. And we are through to the next round. Send the assist, and we make 2.34 mil for getting through. Tell you what, the group stage draw is coming up in two days' time. So we are going to send to that one live. Wagner would be suspended for the first group stage game, unfortunately. I'm going to ask for 5 mil for Lockvat, and he give it to me. I'm happy with 5 mil. I'm going to leave the clauses there because they probably just negotiate. They don't negotiate, they wouldn't want to negotiate for five mil anyway. Basil is through, inbox there. Let's get through, 25th, 26th, that's all we want to get to. There's still six transfer items waiting. There's going to be some transfer drama off stream and off, um, maybe on stream, and there we go. Apparently, we, the selfish game, we've got people on, on thing. Let's go have a look. We've got eight people, who is it? Isberg, Onison, Oriella, Jimmy, Stefan, Repes. Yeah, postpone it. It's fine. I don't really mind. Look, we probably wouldn't even play that full strength side anyway, but I'm happy for the boys to get an extra couple of days. Rest doesn't bother me. As we continue forward now to the 26th, here we go. Champions League group stage draw coming up live. Played that fairly straightforward against the Basel. Apart from when it got 2 1, it was straightforward. There's that 14.87 mil um, payment that we get. We go to finances, we now have 27 mil in the bank. We go to the club, we can, we're secure again. Um, we're still losing money fairly regularly in the league, but we're hoping that's okay. And this is what I've been doing for Ragnoli. As soon as time comes out, negotiate for 15 mil. If you want to come back in and make a big close of the 15 mil, not a problem. If not, off you go. Going to continue forward. Those boys can play the under 19s game, and we're here. Champions League. I'm going to make a parting comment, and t parting comment to Benjamin Trummer as well. I'm very happy with his service. We're going to quickly look at the history, but look, he deserves it. Look at that. He played, he came in on a free. For Mainz to play quite well in the league, linking up very well with Isberg and scoring goals. Fortunately, finds his way down the pecking order, and to get some money for him is quite good. We should be into the Champions League. Yeah. Melvin Nevis isn't happy to left. He wasn't an influential part. Um, I'm going to just see if Jon can talk me out of that. He can't resolve it. So we're going to just take a discussion here. He wasn't only really in the locker room, and I'm confident that he won't be missed that much. You're right, exactly. That's right. I'm coach, I'm right. Well done, Nevers. I was going to say, he wasn't that much. He, he dropped off a lot in terms of the hierarchy. He was only like an influential person. We've got a dynamics, and we've got a hierarchy. He was in here. He wasn't up here, he wasn't in there. He was in here. So, in the influential person. Very strange for Nevers to speak up about that. Look, we're seated for Champions League. Obviously, we can't get another... Um, 
Punks Landing team, there isn't one, of course, in the Champions League at the moment, maybe in years, years, years to come. I will say this, um, FH did get beat quite convincingly by um, Genk in the first leg 4-1, so they're probably out now. But good running from them to get to the fourth round. As we're going to just quickly get through to everyone in the third place. Here we go. We're going to click. All right. SLB Monaco Leverkusen. If you're looking to maybe try and get third place in the group, it's an okay group. Looking out of it, I actually would like Group C. Even though we've got City, I think Endlich and Moscow wouldn't be too bad. Dynamo coming to that one. That would be a hard group, especially after Leipzig if it gets 9-3 away from home. I don't want Group B. Celtic go there. Group C is what we want. Can we get it? We do get Group C. That's actually quite interesting. Spartak, Moscow, City, and Endelette. Look, I'm expecting Endelette and Moscow to be better than us. Of course, the Endelettes do have Yuri Tulemans. Um, I don't expect they would because he would have been there um, on key players. Look, they don't. They don't have Yuri Tulemans at all. Tell you what, Endelette's a side that we can get after for sure. Um, Spartak, the Spartak, Danilo's still there being their um, fullback. Still quite good. He's got a transfer bid. I wouldn't mind to see him. Parish Chance to man. He's going to go. That's great news for us. He's got the Sparta going to be quite weaker. But, and then City, City. Um, look, we're going to look at Icardi because it's Icardi. He's a sensational. He's a freak. You can sign Icardi. He's sensational. And Daniel Bell is quite a good little youth prospect who would feature in our first team for sure. But being English, we're not going to bother. We're going to save the game there. That is going to be the end of the episode. Next episode, I don't know when it's going to be because I'm going to stream the group, group stage games on Twitch. If you want to check me out on Twitch, link in the description below. Follow me on Twitch. Gives you a notification when I'm live. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch. We're probably going to be streaming later this afternoon. I've got a few things to do first. Got to do some editing, put the videos out on YouTube, and then we'll probably be on Twitch. Um, if you've enjoyed the episode, like and subscribe so you can see more YouTube episodes of HK. Enjoy the rest of your day, ladies and gentlemen. HK into the group stage draw of the Champions League for the second year in a row. We haven't done it easy. We had a moment in episode 17, but we came through against Ligier. And I tell you what, even then, we had a little bit of drama. We don't do it easy. I'm expecting it to be the, a very hard group stage, but I tell you what, I reckon we might be able to sneak out in third spot and get to the Europa League groups that are knockout rounds. Enjoy the rest of your day all night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. Damon signing off to YouTube for another episode, and goodbye.